Randy, Randy, son. Did you see who was driving the car? Did you see, can you ID the driver? Silver Volvo. No, 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 Randy, we got, we got the car, it's right here. Who was driving? Yeah. Yeah. I got license plate. I don't need the license plate, Randy. I'm looking right at Four. it. Four. Paul. C. Charles. It's gonna be okay, right? Yeah, painkillers. How's he doing? Broken arm, broken leg, probably a couple of broken ribs. Suitcase took most of the blow. It could have been a lot worse. Can you identify the driver? He can't identify me. I'll try again later. What do you got? Condensation. The air conditioner was running. And the humidity is, what, about 70%. So that car was idling right here for about 20 minutes. So what, he was waiting for him? And the tire tracks here. He must have peeled out at full speed. Sorry, he didn't even try to brake or make the turn. Son of a bitch. What happened? He was only here for an hour. Did he piss somebody off? No. And we found this on the floor of the car. Near the gas pedal, some kind of green mud. Well, I'll get that to the lab right away. Captain, it's not your case. Like hell, it's not. He's right, Captain. It's my backyard. Lieutenant Bristow, Monterey County Police. How you doing? Don't worry, you'll be copied on every statement. Where are you staying? Uh, right here, I guess. This is Adrian Monk. He'll be staying here, too. I, I, I don't think so. He'll be staying here, too. I guess I'll be staying here, too. Well, the car's registered to a uh, Margaret Davenport. Margaret Davenport? Aunt Madge. OK, Aunt Madge. She said somebody took the keys out of her coat pocket, which was in her cloakroom. She was busy putting up decorations. So it wasn't her. But he knew exactly where to look. And what car was hers? There's no Volvo markings on that key. Could, that could have been anybody, an employee. Uh... I don't think so. I just talked to the manager. There was a staff meeting in progress. Nobody was missing. What? You're saying somebody in my family did this? No. Let's get you upstairs. Hotel's comp in your room. Whoa. Okay. I'll catch up with you guys later. Okie doke. Oh, yes, how is he? I hope he's gonna be all right. Oh, sweetheart, I'm sorry about your friend, but there isn't anything that you can do, so now we just have to... What? We soldier on. That's right, we soldier on. Uh, now, the rehearsal dinner is in about 20 minutes, so... What's that? Uh, oh, I found this outside. But those are Randy's pants. Oh, uh, yes, I, I thought that this color would be good to show the wedding planner for the tablecloths. Khaki. No, the blood. Crimson, the ones she picked were sort of raspberry. Didn't go with any of the flowers at all. Mom, that's an evidence back. Yes. You can't just take it from a crime scene. That's a felony. Well, the tablecloths are a felony, darling, and I'm going to give it back. Mom, you can't just take it. Uh, no. Natalie Jane. Thank you, darling. Now, the rehearsal dinner is going to be in about 20 minutes, so you're not going to be wearing that, are you? Natalie, that gift shop does not have my toothbrush. They do not carry the girl or 4,000. What am I supposed to do? You know, we're going to worry about that later. Come on, we're late. The rehearsal dinner's in 20 minutes. You said we? You said we were late. I heard you say we. You're my date. Congratulations. Oh, wait. Here's the thing. Mr. Muck, someone did this to Randy. Maybe somebody in my family. You're a detective, right? This is your chance to look around. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I can't go in there alone. You're my date. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, I don't normally stand up and give speeches. In a minute, you're going to find out why. <laughs> I promise after tomorrow, I'm going to let Jonathan do most of the talking. <laughs> don't bet on it. <laughs> um, I just wanted to thank you, all of you, for making me feel so at home. I know this all happened very quickly. I still don't know how you planned it all in one week. As some of you know, I lost my own parents in 1995, and I never thought I would ever feel this way again. So, Mr. and Mrs. Davenport, when we met yesterday, you asked me to call you mom and dad. 
At the time, I didn't really know what to say, but I've been thinking about it, and mom and dad, I would love to. <laughs> Natalie, when I was growing up in Philadelphia, I used to dream about having a big sister. I can't wait to get to know you better. I'm having a little bachelorette party tonight. I really hope you can make it. Oh, yeah. Stop it! He keeps searching my food! No, I wasn't. I was just helping the lad. He seems kind of confused about... He's it, mushing all together here. He's, uh, he's fine. He's going to be all right. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's